Hello and welcome to the GT Plan Fantasy Series live from Montreal, Canada. The green flag wave, and we're off into turn one. AJHG leads us to the green flag, but it looks like Ferenc is in holding tough on the outside line. He's going to get the advantage into turn two, and he's going to end up taking the lead. Nearly makes contact with AJHG right there. Pretty close call, but it looks like Ferenc is going to end up getting the position off into turn five. As they come down through the first of several chicanes. Oh, AJHG hits the wall. AJHG, the pole sitter, and now second place has just hit the wall. That's going to be a huge advantage for Perinkas in there. Coming out of the final corner, he would lead the first lap, and you can see what a gap he already has managed to put on the field because of AJHG hitting the wall and holding up the rest of the cars. Now, I know the numbers are low, a relatively short race in the numbers by only 30 laps, but this is quite an average length race. Here you see Checker in the number 11 Toyota Camry. He had an issue with his car. He pit on the end of the first lap. However, you see on lap 4, Earth, Cod Demon 101, and Ryu all come into the pit lane. Something interesting that happens here. Frank is in by lap four, had his lead spread out to nearly six seconds over AJHG. NASCAR fan 1400 ended up getting up into the last podium spot at this point, running in third. Then you have Goofy Tyler running in fourth, and then Gran Turismo 916 running in fifth. Rally Morton, another one bites the dust with the issues on their cars coming in the pit lane. Here's Gran Turismo 916, AJHG 1000, and Project What? So a lot of the front runners coming in there. You see Carbonox now, B. Howe, and Duststone. Another shot showing that the second place car has come into the pit lane as well as the fourth place. So now, at the end of lap seven, it's Ferenkazin, and then the gap back to NASCAR Fan 1400. We're still waiting on him. There's NASCAR Fan. There's Goofy Tyler. Here comes ABP, waiting on him. Or excuse me, not ABP. That was Ninners and that was Quiet Girl. Here's Race Car in the number 32 Napa Auto Parts. Uh, Camry running a special one-off paint scheme to coincide with the Napa race. Uh, Napa sponsoring this event. You can see he's running quite well uh, and putting on a good show there. Here's Whitetail in the pit lane. He was leading the Concept Cup and... He's still leading the Concept Cup, but he was leading the race out of Concept Cup. You see Tired Iron goes around. Uh, he's in the pit lane with issues. Whitetail. There's Samurai 8 Juice trying to get around Ferenkazin to get a lap back. Not going to happen. Here's on board with Ferenkazin, and we are officially 33% of the way through the race. There you can see the field as they run. Nobody DNF'd yet, but two cars are a lap down. There's Ferencas in now, caught in a bunch of lap traffic, giving NASCAR fan a little bit of room to try and make up uh, some of that 12-second deficit. Um, Ferencas in just keeping a cool head here. He knows he's got a lot of time to play with, but as we get to about the halfway point, you can see that gap's gone down to about 8 seconds. However, NASCAR fan has to come into the pit lane for the same issue everybody else has been having that's come into the pit lane this early. NASCAR fan losing all kinds of positions with this. He's going to drop as far back as 19th. You see Ryu in the pits a second time. Here's Ferencazin still in the lead. And with a commanding one at that, you see the field as they run. Several of them going laps down now. And v -How jump, or dropping out with a broken camshaft. Third place, Turbo Snail into the pit lane. So he's going to fall out now. So much for him. Ferenc is in now, still putting a huge lead with 24 seconds over the 53 car of Tired Art, and Ferenc is in, comes into the pit lane. Ferenc is in, comes into the pit lane. So he's got issues now. He's in the pits, you can see. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a huge game changer. Ferenc is in, in the pit lane. This... He cannot make it on gas, or he's got an issue or something, but Ferenc is in, in the pits. Tired Iron's going to inherit the lead and put a Concept Cup driver in the lead. Maybe, oh no, he's in the pit too. Tired Iron in the pit lane. Ninner's in the pit lane. I believe that's Goofy Tyler in the pit lane. 
So everybody now, th that's the end of the fuel and tire run. Everybody else coming in the pit lane. Now, can they beat Frank is in and with all these cars that have coming into the pits now, all the cars that were coming into the pits earlier, this ends up giving Whitetail the lead. He was one of the earlier cars to pit. He had fallen so far back, and now since everybody else is pitting, he inherits the lead. There you see the confirmation. Number nine atop the leaderboard with as much as seven laps to go. And waiting to see what the gap is between first and second. Here you see Ferenc is in just now. Second place just now crossing the line. And the gap from first to second is going to be a whopping 22 seconds. Whitetail just hitting his marks now. He can bring it home for the Concept Cup drivers. Something here that's nice to note, Sparky Tooth, last week a horrific accident, sent him to the hospital in stable condition. He was released by the time the race was over, and he's rallied back, and after that horrible week, he's running sixth in the standings. Here's Whitetail coming to the white flag, one lap to go for the Bambi Toy or Pontiac. He's just hitting his marks perfectly, and that's all he's got to do. He's got 19 seconds to play with. He can cruise around and get himself the win if he can just keep all four tires on that car. And that's exactly what I he's going to do. He's lost a lot of time to Ferencazin, but it doesn't matter. You see, 17 seconds, but two corners. You do the math. He comes through the chicane. And after coming constantly in the 5th place, 10th place, 1 DNF all season since he started his career... Checkered flag in the air. Whitetail wins it in the Bambi Pontiac. The number nine comes first place. And what a well-deserved first place that is for the number nine car. What a finish. What a great race. It, it looked like he was going to be out of it toward the end of it. Frank is in third. Ninners fourth. Tired Iron fourth. NASCAR fan fifth. ABP seventh. Quiet Girl bringing the female crowd home ninth. Goofy Tyler, 10. Niku Driver HC, 2nd, 11th overall, and 2nd in the Concept Cup. GT Racer, 98. Last car on the lead lap. And here you see the first of probably many burnouts from that number 9 of Whitetail. What a great effort from the number 9. Thank you for watching the GT Planet Fantasy Series. If this is any indicator of what we're going to see at Bathurst, it'll be a crazy and unexpected finish. From nowhere, the, na the native to Indiana takes the checkered flag here at Montreal, Canada. Our next round is going to be at Bathurst, Australia for the endurance race. And then we go back to the States for a race at Kansas. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching on Race TV.